Yo, what's going on, guys? Um, V plays here, and welcome back to how to make a FNAF fan game. This is part three. Um, it has been taking me a while to record because my mic wasn't working, so yeah. Um, and I'm just sorry for the delay, I didn't realize how much. Um, they were like how many how many views they were getting, but yeah, we'll continue on with this series. So in part two, we last went left off with the cam map. Um, I already designed mine, so we're just gonna go through here real quick. Um, obviously, I just designed it. We don't have any code yet. Um. All right. Let's see. And here is our thing. Now it's looking pretty nice. Um, as we can see, there is a bit of clipping right now, so we will have to fix that eventually. Um, in the meantime, it it, it is working fairly well. So, stop the project, and should still have cam map, so what you're going to do is you're going to go back, you know, make your sprite, and then duplicate it, call this one normal, call this one, um, just say you, um, I'm going to capitalize this, I have OCD. Um, alright, so now we'll go into code, and then click looks, and then click hide, and also grab a show. Then grab a one flag clicked, and put a hide onto that. And, yeah. Um, then add a when I receive cam up, when I receive cam up. Show and it will forever. Um, switch costume to um, you and then normal. And when you bring the camera, up, it'll be normal, then it'll see you. So, yeah, it's every one second. See how that looks. Okay. Um, it's not showing. Zero point five. <laughs> Oh yeah, um, as I forgot, like an absolute idiot, go into the U costume, um, I'll put a black background so it'll be, if you're using white, just make a black square and click back to go to the back layer, um, you can leave this if it's on like a black thing, but, well, no. You can't, because we're, we're going to be making cameras soon, but right now I guess you can. But I would definitely recommend removing it. So, I'm definitely going to remove it. Um, well, you kind of have to. So, you're just going to get out your text and in white. Um, you're going to write... I'm going to do it in pixel. You can do it in any font. I'm just going to write you in all caps. And then shrink it down to the size, um, put it where you want. Yeah, right there's good. Now grab a white square and just put it over there. Um, and there you go. Now, this should work. Mm, the static... Um, I can move that into the so it'll forever go to zero zero. Oh, okay. 
If you're having this bug, which you probably are, um, I'll actually set this to one second and then just add another, wait one second, or, like, say if you have 0 0.5, I'll set that to 0 0.5. So, now, that should work. Um... I'll actually set that to like 0 0.6. 0 0.6 by 0 0.6. Yeah, that's that's perfect. So, and when you put the cam down, yep. For me, there is a bit of lag when you put the cam down, but overall, it does look pretty nice. So now, what we'll be doing is working on the cams. So create a new sprite and call this. Cam01. Um, and what you could do is set the thing to the color to like a gray, like a square. Um, yeah, I'll make it that big. Put it to the center and grab the fill tool, set it to this selection, and then in the first box, grab your color, and then make it lighter, and then in the second one, just keep your regular color gray. So it'll give us a cool, like, like, sort of shading look, if that's how you want to call it. And then for pixels, um, I might do... Handwriting looks good, um, let's see that. I'll do it in white cam. Eh, I don't like it. Um, probably, yeah, I'll probably do the pixel. Um, so we'll put that up there. And then you're just gonna write O1. Or 1. You can, you can put, like, you can write A, B, C, like, 1, C, 2, C, like, 2, B, you know, etc. Um, so, actually, I'll move this over. I like that in the corner, but, um, yeah, I'll just put it there. Here. That, yeah, that's good now. Just like highlight it all and click group. So it will be all connected. Um, if you want to ungroup it, just click ungroup and it'll all be ungrouped. So yeah, make sure to put that to the center. It doesn't matter what size it is in here because we'll be sizing it down. Um, yep, there it is. Just call this cam. Um, O1 underscore in. <laughs> and then we're gonna like this click, and when I receive cam up, it will show and hide. Oh, let's clean that up. Alright, so now, um, we're gonna have to see where we can put this. So grab out a go to x, um, I'll set it to zero, zero. Okay, we're gonna have to change the size, so, 50? Um, uh, maybe a little less, like, 40. 45. Yeah, that seems good. So, I have to drag that. Cam01, um, I want Cam01 to be, you can set this wherever you want. I'm setting mine, uh, yeah, right there in the corner. So, you're gonna look at the X down here and click 43. 
and the Y164. These are for me. So, so if I say drag it like over here and click this, it'll go to the same exact spot. So we'll put that in there, and the one foot is quite tied. Um, um, and duplicate this costume and call it underscore G. So when it's clicked, um, actually duplicate again and call this one DN. Wait. D, D, G. Call this one N, D, G, and then G. So for D, G, we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the fill tool, go in this same exact selected thing, um, and then we're gonna choose the gray and make it a bit darker, um, Actually, we'll make that like the regular gray, and then we'll set this to be a very dark gray. So, should be about it, and we can set it. Um, this one I'll set to be a bit brighter. So, all right, there we go. So this significantly darker and for this one we're gonna set the colors to green so so it'll be like a, a max bright green and then it'll be the same thing here We'll actually set a cube, and I'll take the edge color, um, and then I'll also take the I'll also take the um, edge color. So they should be uh, the same exact thing. Now, what we can do with the second one is make it a um. Yeah, maybe a bit darker, so it's like that dark. And just grab the um, fill tool and just fill it in. Um, I'll make the second one just a bit darker. I'll actually move those out of the way too. Wait, no. Okay. Um, yeah, that looks about good. So, um, then what we'll do is we'll have a forever and then add an if then else. So, then what we'll do is we'll do if, um, yeah, if. Touching mouse pointer. So if it's like overlaying it, then basically it will. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it will switch the costume to cam to camo one underscore dg. Also, it will switch it to camo. O one underscore it. So, oh yeah. Also, switch costume to costume N. Just call it N. 
So, as you can see, it is working very well. Um, and then you can add, if the sprite is clicked, then it will switch to Cam G. So, when we click it, uh, you click it, it should stay. Um, yeah, there's a minor bug there. If and I'm pretty sure we should add an and if touching mouse pointer and costume number does not equal um here where's costume number costume number does not equal three because it's the third costume and you can see the number up there three costume number does not equal three so let's reset the code and I think we can do something else. Oh, I know what we can do. We can add a repeat until costume number equals three. There we go. So. Now what we can do is we can make a new variable cameras underscore selected and then set that to one. Um, actually, uh, I'll make it a one. So, um, yeah, then what we can do is just we can um, make a new sprite and call it. Actually, no. We could just duplicate this. And what we're going to do from here is we're going to um, switch every. We're just going to switch this from 01 to 02. All right, as you can see, I can sw I switch the name and all the uh, other things, you know. So, camera select equals O2, um, and basically just keep everything else. Well, I want to set this one, um, that uh, yeah, right there. So that's one seven eight one two nine. Do not. Okay, so, um, yeah, that looks good. We'll say, um, we'll have a total of five, five cameras, so we'll duplicate, <coughs> excuse me, um, we'll duplicate these three times, cam 03, cam 04, cam 05. No, I'll make this one. If we have enough for a sixth camera, I'll make I'll make like one B. So O three. We'll just speed up through all this. Thank you. 
Alright, so as you can see, I added six new cameras and I just finished them. So in the next video, I will be showing you how to make the cameras and like how to make the actual cameras once you click on them and also fix this bug where it's staying green and you can't like unclick them. You know, like once you click another camera, the camera that you were previously on would turn back to gray. So yeah, um, that's all for today's tutorial, and yeah, hope you enjoyed and make sure to subscribe.